You guys have been asking for me to feature more brands that anybody can purchase that are not just professional only. here welcome back to another video on my channel you guys have been asking for me to feature more brands that anybody can purchase that are not just professional only when it comes to looking for brands like that that I would like to feature on this channel there's a lot of checklists that the brands in my opinion need to meet today I have a new brand for you guys that is not a professional only brand it is created by a professional nail tech which I really appreciate because then a lot of the characteristics that a professional nail tech would look for in a brand is what she is giving you guys in this brand. And I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So if you guys have ever tried this brand before, definitely comment below and let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. Anything that I've heard from uh, my fellow nail techs out there or fellow nail lovers who have tried this brand have been all positive things. So I'm really looking forward to featuring it for you guys. Uh, and it is Nail Queen Studio. So let's just have a round of applause here for how beautiful this packaging is first and foremost. Uh, obviously a lot of thought has gone into the branding of this brand, which I really appreciate. And she also has a ton of different nail art items and nail products on her site too, which is something else that I look for. I look for variety because not everybody is going to want the exact same things from a brand, the exact same colors, that sort of thing. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to do a little bit of a haul about these different products that she has sent to me. Um, and then I am going to design a nail set using some of these different products so we can see how they apply and how they work. There are lots of really good swatch videos in her Insta stories, um, up on her feed, anything like that. So if you guys want to see how these apply, that would be a good place to go. I'm really impressed with the social media aspect of this brand too. There's a lot of marketing that goes into it and a a lot of your questions about this brand can be answered just directly on her social media, which I really appreciate. So um, let's dive into the haul. So first we have a bunch of color gels over here. And then we also have a bunch of gel polishes and we have 18 new gel polishes here to her brand that are launching on Friday as well. So um, we also have a bunch of tools, which we're going to dive into a little bit more. I have one nail art piece here for uh, the chromes that they offer. And then also, you guys, you know how much I love me some good glitter. There's a bunch of different glitter that we're gonna dive into here too, um, and just see how those look as well. So let's get started. I wanna start with uh, the color gels, actually. I'm really curious about these. And let's talk about the packaging right off the bat here. So uh, these are five mil of color gel. So these are a hard gel. Uh, we also have this really pretty chrome detailing on the inside, and then some really beautiful um, acrylic packaging on the outside too. So the package themselves are just beautiful. And then the name on here matches the color that's inside, which I also appreciate because then it's easier to find the packaging when you're um, looking in the drawer for it too. I do want to just do a quick swatch of this particular color, just so we can get a feel for it. Um, I have some brushes here as well, which we'll just open these up really quick. Um, so this brush, they're labeled on each of the sides here. Seven millimeter art brush on the one side. And then on the other side, we have a five millimeter brush. I like that it's dual headed like this. Then this one is a 20 millimeter one. So a really nice striping brush. And I like how these are not thick. It's not a thick striping brush. I struggle with striping brushes, you guys. And I think it's because a lot of times the hairs on them are like, there's way too many hairs for me. So I usually end up cutting them down, but I don't think this would be an issue with this one. And then we have a rose gold brush here too. Oh, okay. I can already tell I like the head on this. I like how small this head is. This is a natural peach um, perfect cover builder gel. A little bit of a thicker gel. I just want to get some gel between this bris these bristles here so it's a little bit easier for me to apply. Okay, so I'm noticing a really thin formula, not thick. brush is really stiff. I feel like I need to work it in a little bit more. This is just like one thin coat with this like neutral color. And it's totally self-leveling itself as well. 
really liking that actually. I'm really happy with how that applied initially. Sometimes neutrals can be a little bit difficult to apply. And then I'm also just going to use this top coat on here. And the top coat is a tack free top coat too, so you guys know how much I prefer that. So this is what Send Nudes looks like. Really happy with that application. That's a beautiful color. This is Fire Engine. And this is what Fire Engine looks like. An orangey red shade, beach house. This reminds me of like a Tiffany blue type of color. It's showing up more turquoise in uh, camera, but it's definitely got more of a teal finish to it, a little bit more green going on with it. This is Tarot Bubble Tea. It's like an off white purple shade. Blue base, light purple. And this is Rose Sunset. So it's like a duochrome shade. And depending on how the light hits it, it's either orange or pink. I want to swatch this one. Let's swatch this one too. Okay, so that is one coat. It's definitely a little bit see-through, so I am going to do a second coat. It's a beautiful color. I wore a shade like this on my nails one time and I just loved it. This is Rose Sunset. I like that it has a nice dual chrome to it. This one is called Rainbow. Love, love, love these type of like clear glitters. This one is super, super sparkly. These are fantastic for like backgrounds, for doing nail art on top of, for putting on top of a different color, for glitter fades. They're just such a versatile glitter. This love. one is Copper Rose. Another one I'm interested to see. Okay, you guys know this is a Talia color. It's a beautiful rose gold fantastic rose gold and like an actual true rose gold not a pinky rose gold not two gold okay we're gonna swatch this one too oh, beautiful. this is beautiful so it has a little bit of like a leaf application to it as well a little bit more fine than like a leaf and I'm, I'm applying it in like a super, super, super thin coat too. And it's very, very concentrated. Really, really liking how fine this glitter is. It's so pretty. So this is Blushing Taupe. I like that this has like a pink neutral base to it. This one, Liquid Gold. This is going to be great for marbling with. Blue Periwinkle. That's exactly what it is. A true periwinkle blue. This is Molina. This is a beautiful, like pinky red color, but a little bit more on like the pink side. This is just stunning. Okay, those are all the color gels that I have to share with you guys. I wanna go through the glitters though and just check out what these mixes look like. This is Unicorn Island. Light pink, iridescent, bar glitter, dot glitter, hexi glitters, stars in here. Oh, there's some like little circles up there too. That's super pretty. This is Seven Years of Bad Luck, and it is a holographic glitter with a whole bunch of different types of glitters in it. Holographic silver glitters are some of my absolute favorite because they pair with like literally anything. It's called Crushed Ice. Another one that I really like is Iridescent Glitters. This is Peacock Feathers. I like that there's some black in here too. It really breaks up some of the yellow and green that we have going on with that glitter. This is Galactic Fantasy. This is so pretty. A bunch of different types of holographic glitter. There's some green, some purple, silver. This is Bronze Goddess. Another holographic one. Ice Queen. Perfect one for winter nails. This here is Cotton Candy. I love when there's holographic glitters with like matte glitters mixed in. I just think they're so pretty. Okay, this looks fun. This is Birthday Pop. So some hot pink. Hot pink, some gold, some blue. I think I'm gonna try and do a set with this one. Cause just kind of gauging the gel polishes, I can totally pair some of the blues and pinks. I'm, this is what I'm gonna design my nail set with based off this glitter. Okay, this is Cosmic Night, Violet Indigo. I really, really like this too. This is Ultraviolet. So some pinks and some blues. This is VVS1. Okay, let's, let's, let's open this one up. That is neat. That's different. It's like a um, holographic glitter, but then there's some chunkies in with it. This is pink champagne. 
bunch of different shades of pink and then some gold um, holographic and then this is a really fine glitter and this is rose pink hollow and I know she has a ton of glitter mixes as well there's a lot more than just the ones that I shared there okay so getting into the gel polishes that just released there's 18 new ones and in addition to that she has a bunch of other gel polishes too there's a couple in here when I was watching her swatches on her Instagram that I'm like those are just so pretty purple one here uh, it is called Lavender Mist. I'm pretty confident this is going to be going on my nails next. It's so pretty. Look at that. And they just look like they're so creamy. And then there's another one, this purple rain color. This is a holographic purple. Such a fine glitter to it too. And then this is Spill the Tea. It's a nice neutral beige color. I'm going to have to look this name up. And it is like an indigo blue type of one. This would pair really nicely with this violet indigo color. These would go really, really nicely together. Surfer's Paradise. This looks like it'd be a good summer color. Really nice bright kind of teal gel polish. And the gel polishes, I don't think I've mentioned this, but they are 10 milliliters as well. This is Opal Sheen. And this one I know can be layered over top of different gel polishes or just used on its own. I actually have like a chrome powder that kind of looks like this that sometimes I will put over top of different colors, but a gel polish like this would be a lot easier to use to just put over top of it any color that you wanted as well. This would go really nicely over top of that lavender mist color actually. <laughs> Battleship, nice medium gray, ginger snaps. This would be a great fall color. Oh, that'd be such a beautiful fall color. This is silver dust. Ooh, that'd be another good one to marble with. This is Ballerina. A nice pink one. Baklava. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Ooh, this is a nice nude. This is Emerald City. That'd be a great winter color. And this is called Pool Party. And this goes with that birthday pop color. This pop champagne. A nice fine gold. This is Miss Mauve. Move. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, never mind. This might be going on my nails. This is Candy Floss. I like that this is milky. This is totally a milky pink. So it's not going to go on super, super concentrated. You're going to have that milky pink look to it, but I like that. You guys know I like that. This is Hot Chocolate. Deep Rich Brown. And then the last one is Chai Latte, and another neutral one. So this is my inspiration, and I want this for my gold base, this blue. I want a really bright pink though. Like literally this is how I design nail sets. Like I will find something as my inspiration, usually it's a color or a glitter mix or something like that, and, that, and then I just go with it. Okay, so we do have that blue, which I want. Um, I do like the gold. Let's get set up to design a nail set. I've got some ideas going through my head. As much as there's like blue in here, I don't want the blue to be like the main focus either. For the brush on this, really short handle and then that's what the bristles look like. down a little bit um, so I'm gonna take some of that rainbow I'm going to apply this glitter over top and I want it to be in like kind of like a zigzaggy pattern down the nail because this nail is so long when I say that these type of glitters are super versatile they just really are there's a lot you can do with them I'm gonna work thin because I don't want to make this too bulky closer to the free edge here I like to suggest using um, smaller glitters too and if I'm working with a gel polish like this and some chunky glitters I will sort of embed this with like a builder in the bot in the bottle type of um, formula 
that way i can finish file and it won't be so lumpy if you don't mind the lumpiness then you could just go in with a top coat, top coat on top of this i'm gonna move this glitter off here though because that's adding too much bulk having it layered up like that i think that i want like a full nail of this glitter too i just think it's so pretty so let's do that on the ring finger so i'm gonna work really 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 thin all i'm doing with this glitter is just getting it on the nail this entire nail covered in glitter. Um, there's some really nice gold in here that I think I want to pull with this like liquid chrome color and I want to do some animal print on top of it. <laughs> I just have been in such an animal print kick lately and I love pairing animal print with uh, brighter colors. gel pot so that's nice as I'm planning this set out I'm getting different ideas in my head so I think I'm gonna do leopard on the ring finger um, so this one I think I want to do like a really nice crystal cluster on here and I think I'm just going to use this rainbow color just applied all over it with like no chunkies or anything on top of it and then that way I can tie my blue and my pink in a little bit more with the crystals that I pick. These two nails here with the chunkier glitter, uh, because they have that chunky glitter in, I need to encapsulate them a little bit and then do some finish filing. I know they have hard gels though, because we do have this natural peach one. And if I had clear here, I would just use that instead. Um, but I'm gonna do that all off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do the artwork on top. So I have a matte top coat, um, which I'm gonna do on this nail here so that I can do my hand painting right on top of it. I think I am gonna do a matte top coat on this one as well. Um, it's all buffed, so I could probably just go in and do my leopard print, print right on top, but just so I have a more even surface. I'm gonna go in and do my top coat. This nail is basically done, so I might as well just do my shiny coat on it. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of the brushes for my zebra. I'm just trying to, I feel like this would be a good length for me. It's gonna make such fine zebra. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, I'll grab something else because sometimes it, I do tend to use a thicker brush usually. I can definitely get some like thin lines with this brush. Like actually cannot believe how thin I got these. Oh my gosh. Unreal. Okay, I'm going to try and surround some of these glitters to create my leopard. Perfect, and then we'll let that dry. While that's drying, let's do our crystal cluster on this one. We're gonna do like a huge crystal cluster, but I want it to be kind of the same as this, where it's like cascading down the nail. Kind of with these big crystal clusters, I like to start kind of in the middle with it. I'm gonna do a 
crystal cluster on this one too because I just feel like it's a little bit too plain. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you liked discovering a new brand. I know I sure did. I was really looking forward to doing some swatches on this new brand and getting a feel for it as well. There's a lot of quality to this brand and you can tell that right off the bat with the amount of thought that's gone into the formula and the packaging and all of that as well. If you guys have tried this brand, I would love to hear your feedback on it as well. Comment below and let me know. If there's anything else you would like me to feature from this brand, definitely, again, comment below and let me know. I really wanted to get my brush into the hard gels and see how they applied, do something with the gel polishes, and of course, I love using glitter as inspiration for my nail designs, which is exactly what I did for the design that we came up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.